Hello friends, welcome back to CCSP certified channel. Today I am starting a new topic and there is a lecture one of the topic 5 important laws and standards and if you are following my channel already you must be aware that I have already covered four topics first was on encryption second was on identity access management third one was on important cloud characteristics fourth one just covered the risk in the cloud and today I am starting the topic 5 I have almost covered 70 percent of the syllabus of the CCSP exam so what is my uh, goal with this video series is I, I, I will focus more on the high probability exam topics also will explain the difficult exam concept because soundness of concept is very important to clear any of the IC score exam especially CCSP also, I will use uh, questions from various sources during my video uh, lectures and especially from my exam candidates feedback because I do uh, teach classes also. So I collect the questions from them and memory based questions from those candidates also I will cover in this video series. Apart from this CCSP question bank definitely I refer and some question banks also to cover the questions in this video series and I like to the point discussion because time is limited it is for working professionals I will try to use my 14 years of industry experience CCSP exam learnings and other cloud certification knowledge to make things simple and easy for you my goal is to help you get further faster in your CCSP exam certificate so many students ask me whether the video series that I'm covering is sufficient so the yes youtube history that is free and sufficient but in case you want comprehensive study you may join any regular page that am i starting or i'm covering and or purchase the self-paced classroom recordings of those batches so same way i'm conducting a next page from first september onward it will go till 30th september around 25 classes it will we covered whole syllabus in 25 classes normally uh, it is from morning 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. IST normally from Tuesday to Thursday, Friday four days a week but it is flexible as per the professionals availabilities also uh, is it if you miss the class you don't get hurt I will share the classroom recording also and luckily I have a hundred percent success ratio so far you can check my LinkedIn uh, feedbacks or stories about the candidate feedback. So if you're interested, you can write me at the CCSP certified at the gmail.com or WhatsApp me on this number plus 91-837-008-1064. I will share this detail in the video description also. So before we come to the topic of the day, I quickly cover the peace of mind promotional activities by IC Square. IC Square conduct this activity almost every month. Uh, uh, and it is a peace of mind because it gives buy one get one offer if you are not able to qualify in the first attempt you can get a free second attempt based on the dates defined so like if it if you write purchase a voucher by 31st August you can write exam by 30th of September first attempt in case you need a re-attempt you can do a free re-attempt by 15th of November so the time to time IC square conduct this activity sometimes they charge extra fees sometimes they don't like this time they are charging 599 that is standard fees plus 1099 so based on the time you are uh, checking this offer the fees might be varying but it's always better to go with this offer because you go with the relaxed mind majority of time you qualify in the first time only still in case you don't get qualified you get a fair idea of exam and your weaknesses so always go with the peace of mind promotional activities when you write any of this exam whether it's CCSP, CISSP, SSCP or other exams conducted by IC square now we come to the topic of the day that is the reporting part that we will cover today so how the reporting has evolved over the time and I have covered it in brief in the last lecture of the risk in the cloud of audit part so might be if you haven't watched those videos it's good to watch them get an idea about the cloud risk and different characteristics of the cloud this topic is 
how the audit has been evolved what is SAS 70 SAS 16 and SAS 18 will cover this and the third one is a report so these three are very important for exam perspective you can expect couple of questions minimum two questions or two to three questions in your exam from this lecture itself so do watch it so how the audit has evolved as we have seen that the audit in the cloud is very tricky it is not easy to do the audit because of the limitation of the multi cloud the data reside in the different locations and various constraints so how this audit or how that how to trust a csp so there are different ways and different mechanisms evolved over the time we will cover the ICPA based auditing system that is us standard so us is a standard for american institute of certified public accountant has published a report in 1992 that is sas 70 but over the time it has become sas 16 and now recent one that is from 2016 2017 onward that sas is 18 same time that is an international uh, uh, auditing framework also there that is by IFAC or IAASB International Auditing and the Assurance St uh, Standard Board the audit name is ISA so we'll cover both this in this lecture so first is SAS 17 that is from 1992 onward so what is this report it is a statement on auditing standard number 17 so 17 is not a year it is number 17 of the uh, auditing standard that is we are covering and it provide what it provide guidance to the external auditors on generally on the guess generally accepted auditing standards for auditing a non-public company entities and issuing a report so for a non-public company uh, by following the guess standard a external auditor can provide the report and what type of report it is is more a financial report and not as broad objective report as requires for many of the IT companies these, these days like availability security those are not being covered so how sound the company financial uh, way it is being covered in this SAS 70 report normally it covers the service organizations so what is service organizations service organization like which provides service like hosted data center service credit card processing organizations insurance claim processing organizations those services can use this SAS 70 report now SAS 70 first used till to, to 2010 2011 onward it is being replaced by SOC reports under SAS E16 and that is being also replaced from 2017 onward as a SAS AE18 so we'll cover these reports so SA uh, a double S A E 16 has a three reports SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3. Double S A E is a statement on a standard for attestation engagement. So this terminology is, might not be required to remember, but sometimes they don't give the abbreviation, they give the full form. So don't get confused. That's why you just check what is double S A E, what is ICPA, what is SOC. So sometimes they give simply SOC, sometimes they they may give the full name of this one so it is requires to know them but don't remember or mug them so SOC has a three categories SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3 SOC 1 is for financial reporting it is same as a replacement of SAS 17 SOC 2, SOC 2 is more a report on the security controls effectiveness of them and how trust principles are implemented so we'll cover what is trust all this trust principle in the following slide and SOC 3 is more a unrestricted public distribution report available for general public so SOC 1 is as I inform is a financial reporting it is a restricted report only given to auditors or the stakeholders or a specific set of users very defined control report and it is a replacement of SAS 17 some sometimes they ask what is the replacement of SAS 17 report it is a SOC 1 report SOC 2 and SOC 3 report SOC 2 is more of the compliance and operation effectiveness of the organizations and there are some five trust principle it is defined uh, or derived from this report and three are the CIA confidentiality integrity and availability that is a security basic principles two are the security and the privacy thus in the CIA I is a 
processing integrity rather than simple integrity. So remember these five trust principles defined under the SOC reports. So SOC 2 is a restricted report. It is for users, auditor or some specific parties like prospective customers. You can show them that how effective our organization is working by, by this report. And SOC 3 is a marketing purpose report publicly available. It also based on this trust principle. Sometimes they ask what are the trust principles? One question. Second to trust principle used in which reports? So it is not used in SOC 1. It is used in SOC 2 and SOC 3. Which is public unrestricted report? It says SOC 3. Also, there is one to one more type here is this type 1 type 2. So this reports come with the type 1 type 2 to more category. SOC 1 type 1, SOC 1 type 2. SOC 3 does not have a type 1 type 2, just to understand. So SOC 1 has two type. SOC 1 was a financial report that is of two type. SOC 2 is a security control report, has a two type. SOC 3 is a public report without any type 1 type 2 first thing. So type 1 is a point in time, the time when the audit is being performed, how effective the control was, it is a SOC 1 type 1 report or SOC 2 type 1 report. If it is type 2, it is a period of time over the 3 months, over 6 months, over a year, the time period defined for the audit. With the, the that duration, so let's say SOC 1 type 1 will give the financial uh, financial health of the organization of a particular point of time like in month of March how, how effective or how good the financial health of the organization is a SOC 1 type 1 but SOC 2 type 2 how good it was the last one quarter or how last six months like this SOC 1 type 2 same way SOC 2 type 1 type 2 so SOC 2 type 1 demonstrate the design of the control the how good the design of the controls are there but type 2 is the how good the effectiveness of the controls so review the implementation of the controls so they ask many times the SOC 2 type 2 is being asked many times at the questions in the exam it is the effectiveness of the control it is SOC 2 type 2 and it's very important if the exam comes in the question comes majority of times the answer is SOC 2 type 2 only but it's not necessary we'll see some questions but SOC 2 type 2 is very important uh, report to identify the effectiveness of the controls SOC 3 just uh, is attestation that audit was being performed and SOC 3 is a public report it has no type 1 type 2 CSP may provide SOC 2 reports to prospective customer but will not share SOC 1 reports to anyone there was so SOC 3 reports is pub publicly available available to everyone SOC 2 can also give one to customer but SOC 1 cannot be given to customers it is for the stakeholders and auditors only now there is a uh, quick difference between SA AC 16 and SA AC 18 because over the time uh, from 2017 uh, onward SA AC 16 being replaced by SA AC 18. So SA AC 18 is a newer version. It is more accurate. Include SA AC 16. SA AC typically use SOC 2 and SOC 3 reports mainly for the uh, the auditors. And uh, what SA AC additional has? So apart from the service organization that we have seen. It has a sub-service organization concept also SSO. So service organizations identify all sub-service organizations used in provide the services. A sub-service organization is a service organization used by the original service organizations to perform services. Like if you are a cloud, uh, cloud provider A, use another company's data center to host your services. Then company B is your sub-service organization. So that also been covered under SA double s a e 18 and out of five trust principles previously it was known as principle that is being renamed as a trust service criteria now remember this they are not the principle they are known as a tsc trust service criteria so securities make a required criteria so if report is there soc 2 report is there soc 3 report is there security must be there so out of five any two or three if you implement that's fine, but security must be there. One of the uh, criteria should be implemented from this report. And confidentiality applies to the various type of sensitive information, but privacy applies only to the personal information. And that follows the gap principle. We'll cover the gap in advance, but we just understand as the exam perspective. For privacy, only the personal information, PII is being used, and it follows the gap principles to I use the privacy uh, principles confidentially though covers the various sensitive information also the last topic is isa the international auditing and assurance standard board 
and uh, uh, ISAE has reports on various uh, uh, are very the similar nature of the SOC2 type 2 report. So SOC2 type 2 report you might have seen that uh, uh, SOC2 SOC report type 2 report is the effectiveness of the control over a period but here the SOC type 2 report is being divided further in the type 1 and type 2. So SOC is mostly used in the United States where IAC is a used internationally. This is one difference. Second difference is SOC type 2 report has a type 1 and type 2. So type 1 report is the effectiveness of the control of a given point of time. Here effectiveness of the control for a 6 month or duration and for a period of time. So here the type 2 report is again divided into type 1 and type 2. So previously SOC reports were divided into type 1 and type 2 and type 2 is subdivided into type 1 and type 2 in this ISAE. So hope it is clear. We will see a few questions from this concept. The first one the statement on the standard for attestation engagements SSAE18 service organization control SOC report are audit tools promulgated by the ICPA. So they normally when they draft the questions, they give too many information which is useless. They may I have given SAS 18 uh, SOC report divided by uh, designed by ICPA. What kind of entities were SOC report designed to audit? So they might have given the simple example like this only, but they give some lengthy description in the exams to confuse you. Don't get confused. So they're just asking what you SOC reports is for what? So it is a US definitely standard it is for service organization we have seen all the companies that provide services are covered in this uh, SOC reporting and we uh, we have seen this also uh, that service organization and later sub, -sub, -sub service organizations are also covered under SOC reporting an IT security professional when reviewing SOC report for a cloud provider which report you, you uh, most like to see if nothing is given and if it is for security is being asked always go with the SOC2 report and so if there is SOC2 option has a two, type 1 and type 2 always go, go to SOC2 type 2 report so if SOC2 type 2 report is the best report to review on the security perspective as an investor investor looks for the financial terms only when reviewing SOC report for the cloud provider which report would you like most to see we have seen that for SOC1 which is the best report for the financial financial perspective you are an IT profession, security professional working for an organization that is considering migrating from your own premise environment into cloud. Uh, assuming some have passed as, as AE audit and some has not. Sorry, which SOC reports uh, might be best to use for your initial review of the several different cloud providers in order to narrow down the field of potential service in the fast and easy way. So we have seen that SOC2 type 2 is best report but it's not a very fast way to review report of the many of the uh, cloud provider. So if you quickly want to eliminate uh, cloud provider SOC3 is best way. If SOC3 is being available it means the audit is being performed. So any cloud provider whose SOC3 report is not there you can simply discard that provider because there is no audit being performed by them. If there is a SOC3, if you found let's say three cloud providers there whose uh, SOC3 is there, post that you can review SOC2 type 2 report of them to identify the final vendor. The last question, which of the following is report used to access the implementation and effectiveness of security controls within an organization? So as we have seen this and this being asked again and again in the many exam, effectiveness of the control of the security control comes with the SOC2 type 2 reports only. So this very important report. Always in exam, uh, if the security comes, always go with the SOC 2. If the finance comes, go with the SOC 1. If the public report asks, go to SOC 3. Thank you. That's for today. Like my channel, subscribe my channel so you don't miss any of the videos. Hope you have liked it. Thank you for watching this video.